Back to Hardball, the right wing anger machine has been focused for three and a half years on President Obama. Well, yesterday, after the Supreme Court's decision to uphold the president's health care law, that anger found a new target. The chief justice, John Roberts, who voted with the liberals on the court. Glenn Beck is now selling T-shirts. Look at that one with Roberts face above the word coward. That's sophisticated. Conservative activist Brent Bozell says Roberts, quote, will be seen as a traitor to his philosophy. And Republican Congressman Jack Kingston of uh, Georgia tweeted he doesn't feel like being Robert's friend anymore. Hmm, it's kind of high school. We're going to look at some of the wildest reactions from the right with Joan Wall, Salon Editor-at-Large, and MSNBC political analyst, and Ron Reagan, who's also an MSNBC political analyst. So here we are back basically in high school, guys, when uh, somebody just won the (laughs) student council election and somebody else did. And this is so, it goes from the ferocious to the childish. Sarah Palin tweeted, I guess that's her only machine of method of transfer or communication anymore, quote, Obama, Obama's, Obama, Obama, Obama lies, somebody got this screwed up, Obama lies, freedom dies. That was last night on Fox. She elaborated with some ominous apocalyptic warnings. Let's watch. If Obama is reelected, well, America, you will no longer recognize the country that today you truly love and and can enjoy all of its freedom and prosperity and security if Obama is reelected, because this Obamacare is a harbinger of things yet to come. She has that sort of sarcastic thing she puts into her voice. Anyway, Bush Limbaugh was also a bit over dramatic on his radio show. Let's listen to Rushbo. Our freedom of choice just met its death panel. The Supreme Court of the United States. What has been upheld here is fraud. And the Internal Revenue Service has just become Barack Obama's domestic army. Was he wearing a prisoner's costume on purpose there? Did you see that? Black and white stripes. <laughs> I think I think he was kind of, Joan kind of dramatized the new imprisonment of this health care. There he is. Look at that. Where did he get something like that from? Anyway, that's his prisoner's costume. All it needs is a number on it. Uh, Joan Walsh, what do you think Obama. of Rushbo? And, of course, Palin with this almost, you know, does this rehearse this stuff? I actually think they're angry. I think uh, Rushbo is an actor and a brilliant one and a showman. But I think Palin really has just started to... Uh, screaming about this thing. She is really hurt that she lost this one. Well, Obama lies and freedom dies. I mean, it's so over the top. Both of them, it would be so funny. It would be hilarious if it wasn't a little bit scary. I mean, I think that what we have here, Chris, is an opportunity for the president to, he gets kind of a do-over. He gets to sell this plan again yes. with the light of the Supreme Court behind him. And so, you know, they, 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 tortured him with death panels and all the other lies and pulling the plug on grandma. And now Rush is calling the Supreme Court a death panel. That's lovely. Uh, and the president gets to go out in the light of day and, and with, with this great victory behind him and tell the American people in a very sober, proud way what it does. Uh, you want, yes, there will be more of the same. There will be more of your children getting to stay on your plan till they're 26 and they can find a good job. There will be more people getting covered even though they may have pre-existing conditions in their I past. See. There will be more good things. Uh, and people so will be paying attention. And you're right, people will yes. now begin to pay attention. To the and Ron, it was like one of those uh, movie football games where the guy throws the incredible block. In this case, the guy you don't uh-huh. expect. John Roberts blocks <laughs> the, uh, the uh, defenders and all that. And then in this, uh, the scat back goes heading down the sidelines, you know, all the way to the end zone. Oh. Or, or maybe it's one of those football games where somebody grabs the ball and runs in the opposite direction that you think he's going to run. Oh, runs yeah, into the so. opposite Wrong end way, zone. Wrong way, Carrigan. Wrong way, Roberts. Like that, exactly. Wrong way, Good Roberts. You know, we can't have this discussion without mentioning a central irony in an issue that is full of ironies here. And that is that the, the individual mandate to buy private insurance is a Republican conservative idea. It came out of the Heritage right. Foundation in 1993 as an alternative to the Democrats, liberals, universal single payer idea. So you, the question you have right. to ask Romney and all the Republicans is, if you want to cover everybody and make sure everybody has access to health care, how are you going to do it without a mandate and without universal single payer? Can't be done. 
And you think if the Heritage Foundation plan had come directly from the Heritage Foundation, except through the Obama White House, do you think the Republicans would be saying it was unconstitutional? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't, Let's go right now to so. write. This is something I hate to do, but I am going to let us quote Michael Savage, who is well named. He unloaded on John yeah. Roberts yesterday in a rant that is too crazy to rationalize. But let's listen to the worst. It's well known that Roberts, unfortunately for him, has suffered from uh, epileptic seizures. Therefore, he has been on medication. Therefore, neurologists will tell you that medication used for seizure disorders, such as epilepsy, can introduce mental slowing, forgetfulness, and other cognitive problems. And if you look at Robert's writings, you can see the cognitive dissociation in what he is saying. Okay. For the record, by the way, Justice Roberts has had some seizures. He has never said he was epileptic. I don't even know why we're getting into this, nor is he taking medication for it. Well, Congressman Jack Kingston of Georgia feels very disappointed in Judge Roberts' decision. He tweeted today, with Obamacare ruling, I feel like I just lost two great friends, America and Justice Roberts. <laughs> Uh, Ron, this is so over the top. This is like some high school. Somebody just, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really sad. The, the, Republicans, feel, the Republicans feel betrayed here. They thought that they had the Supreme Court comfortably on their side by a five to four margin. Right. And there goes Roberts heading off, as you said, wrong way, Corrigan, in the other direction. So they're furious at him. <laughs> but Roberts, I think with an eye on the credibility of the court, and realizing that a 5-4 decision overturning this law would have cut the slender thread by which the credibility of the court now hangs. And he just wasn't well, going to go yes. there. I, Joan, I think they thought they had tucked him in at night upstairs in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and they look out the Absolutely. window and he's got a placard and he's protesting against them. They weren't ready for this uh, switch. <laughs> Well, it is. It's a little bit scary, Chris, because it does show you the extent to which they really believed that they had this in the bag and that they had this court in the bag. And, you, you know, you just lose legitimacy of the court if it's perceived as a partisan tool. Well, shortly after the ruling, not to be not to be outshouted here or out crazy. Remember, one of the founding members of the uh, birther caucus, Louis Gomert of Texas, he responded by calling the impeach, calling for the impeachment. Uh, catch this of Justice Elena Kagan. <laughs> Let's watch. Why not? You know. We still have the issue of Justice Kagan, uh, as I've been raising for months now. Uh, either she was totally derelict and negligent in her duties as Solicitor General and had absolutely nothing to do with the most important bill to this president, her boss, or she did have something to do with it. She has violated federal law, and as such, she needs to be from the Supreme Court. So I think it's important to look at Justice Kagan for potential impeachment. You know, I don't know what to say. Let me ask you back to Joan on this. Uh, you know, it, it seems to me that uh, did you all watch Jean Schmidt, the congresswoman from the Midwest, her, and her sort of yes. physical reaction to what she thought she was listening to Fox and right. got the story wrong. And she was so seized with a kind of a seizure of excitement that the, that the uh, bill had been declared unconstitutional. It was it was physical. These people's reaction. Physical. What do you make of it? It's, well, is it it's, that important I, to them that the, the president be destroyed? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's that important to them. And, and they've been saying this all along. It was going to be his Waterloo. Remember, Jim DeMint told us that. Uh, and the idea that he was going to uh, live to fight another battle, that he was going to that he won this battle, Chris, uh, and that it was John Roberts who did it to them was just too much to bear. But it wasn't. I don't know how. How do you spike the football uh, if you think that, oh, yeah, now people sick people are going to be thrown off insurance. Yay. Go America. How is that so exciting? The only thing that's really exciting is that they were going to deal the president what they hoped would be a mortal blow. And, you know, you guys, Joe Connison and, and David Korn covered it really well. This is a huge vis victory for this president. Mm -hmm. It would have been a disaster to have it overturned. And he goes out competent with a record, with a kind of amazing record now, when you I think agree. about it, Thank of achievement in this first term. Because the old and charge no was before you tell us victory, what we're going to do. Yes, no. And right. somebody once said, uh, "Don't tell me before you tell me what you're going to do. Tell me what you've done." Now we know he's done. Just for the fun of it, let's watch Gene Schmidt. This is what it would have looked like across this country for days and months oh, had this bill gone down before the Supreme Court. <laughs> oh, Here's God. Congresswoman Gene Schmidt thinking that the bill has been struck down by the court. Here it is, just a clip. Oh, 
laggers who are found. Yes! What did they do? What? What? Oh, what, what else? Speak! Speak, speak, speak. Oh, thank God! They have stolen. No! They struck down the individual. They took it away. Wow, that's what it looked look like nationwide, guys. Anyway, have a nice weekend. You got something to celebrate, both you, Ron, Reagan, and Joan Walsh. <laughs> uh, it's great Thanks to have you on the show all the time, by the way. Up-